story today, the story about the flower Naopaka, is indeed true. And it is a flower that grows on all the islands, up in the higher areas, the mountains, and down by the seashore. It's also a love story. And I want you to know, as a storyteller, I guarantee the whole story is true. <laughs> in ancient days, long before King Kamehameha ruled the, the islands, there was on each of the islands a separate monarchy. And on the island that we now know as Oahu, there was indeed a king and queen, much beloved by their royal subjects because the laws, the rules, the things that they did were always made in regard to their people. And so it was with a great deal of pleasure that the islanders heard that the queen had given birth to a baby daughter. And the royal couple decided to name their daughter after this beautiful flower, the Naupaka. Just like on the mainland, we would name a daughter Lily, or Rose, or Daisy. And so Princess Naupaka had that name, and she was indeed a lovely young lady. As a young girl, she was polite, she was friendly. As a young woman, she would go into the village, she would visit with people, she smiled, she was warm, she was loving. But one day, the villagers noticed something different about her. She smiled, she was gracious, but something was missing. Even her parents, the king and queen, noticed there was some change with her. And so they called their daughter in and they said, daughter, what is wrong? We see you are not the same. The smile is there. The light seems to be gone. Tell us, we are your parents. We want to help you. Well, I've done something I know I shouldn't have. I, I've fallen in love, but it's with a commoner. I know the monarchy rules. I, I, I cannot marry him. I just didn't know what to do or who to tell. Well, of course, her parents, who wanted to make her happy, but because they were the royal couple, they could not say, you may marry him. But they suggested that she and her lover go up to the mountain to talk with the great kahuna, the wise man, at his ehu, the temple. And so the next day, the couple started the journey. It was switchbacks, up, going up, up high. It was hot. It was humid. It took hours to get there. Now the kahuna, the wise man, saw them coming, and he waited outside the temple. And when they approached him, he said, what may I do for you, my children? And of course, they told him the story. She was royalty. He was a commoner. They wanted to get married. They knew they couldn't. What do they do? And the wise man said, I have no answer for you, but you may go in to our prayer room and pray. The gods will listen. The gods will tell you what you need to do. And so the couple went in. It was a beautiful room, wood paneling from the, from the trees on the island. And in the center of the room were these magnificent crystals. And it was a room meant for praying. And as they began, an hour or so into it, a light rain began to fall. You could hear patter, 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 patter. But as the hours went by, into the night, into the next day, the rain got harder, pitter, patter, pitter, patter, and then thunder came and lightning came. And by morning, the couple looked at each other and Princess Nell Pucka said, I think the gods have given us the answer. They are telling us we have to be torn apart. We cannot be together. And so he said he would stay in the mountain regions 
Well, she would go back to her home down by the seashore that we now know as Waikiki. And they left the temple and standing outside in front of a growing Naupaka flowering bush, she took the flower, the Naupaka flower that she always wore, and tore it apart and gave him one half while she kept the other. And then they did one final embrace. Imagine the surprise and the shock the next day those people who would look out and see, whether up in the mountains, down by the seashore, that the now puck of flower was now growing as half of a flower. Overnight, it had broken apart and was now growing, and it still grows as half a flower. And the legend says, and I've done this, if you pluck each half and put them together, you are giving the couple one last chance for a loving embrace. <laughs> Thank you.